So I wanted to show you how easy it is to actually produce and edit video um, with Adobe Premiere, which is what I use. I have the Adobe Premiere Suite. Uh, as you can see here, we got the latest version, 13. But it's super simple. You take any footage in the field, and, and most people are not creating uh, content because they think they need uh, super duper equipment. I do everything with my cell phone. Um, I basically don't even have a mic in the field. I've learned how to record without a microphone. Uh, I'm going to show you um, one that we just did. I'm going to bring it in um, and give you an idea. This is super simple. I want to bring this one in, this in, just highlight what you want. And I'm going to bring the video in. And I'm using my Bluetooth headset that I use for my phone to answer calls when I'm on the road. Um, but that's really the microphone that I'm using right now for that specific video. I can even do it without any video. Uh, but I'm going to take in and bring in my logo reveal. And what this is, is uh, an in, basically a bumper that I've created. Um, I had this one created for me. Um, you know, this is somewhere in the neighborhood between about 250 bucks to create that intro, but you don't really need it. This is just something I have. And what I do is here is my intro. Hey, give it a thumb. Actually, this is my outro. Let me do the, the intro that I did. I just record basically myself doing an intro. Super simple. Frank the Pesky here. I'm going to show you a big, big problem that we're having with Podocarpus and mites. All right, so it's pretty good, pretty good audio. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my audio editing effect. This is the beauty. You can edit audio right here. You just go to audio up here, go to dialogue. I'm going to use the default, which is podcast voice. And I'm going to use a denoise. I'm not going to worry about the rumble. Leave everything the same and check out the the audio improvement. Frank the Pest Geek here. I'm going to show you a big, big problem that we're having with Podocarpus and mite. All right, so there you go. I can bring up the audio a little bit. It's a new mite uh, for this Podocarpus here in South Florida, and very few people have it. All right, so the audio there is done, and what I'm going to do is I've got a couple of different ones that I shot, and I'm going to bring that one in, bump it together with that one, and I do very little editing, guys. I don't worry so much. All right, so you've got a podocarpus shrub that looks perfectly natural, normal. And normally what we... And what we're going to... You see the audio, how the audio... have with... with the audio is pretty carpus. good, right? So what I'm going to do is go to a podcast. Do that. I don't need the D-House. Well, we might leave it. As we get some tip light. And we're going to... Crank it up. There a bit. is dieback. The, what the denoiser does is actually that is normal. This this is a, a disease that is not takes away the background noise of what's happening in the air. But that microphone is noise canceling, so when I use it, it's pretty good. Branch will literally die. But this is new. We're getting this yellowing, and it looks like it's chlorotic. It's getting the signs of what it appears to be disease which it really isn't. It wasn't disease. It was actually a mite that it has a problem with mite and you're never going to be able to detect it unless you put it under a microscope. But you see the chlorosis, how, you know, this is obviously new leaf that's coming out. And if you go over here, I'm going to take you over to this end. Um, it's not so bad. It seems to be isolated. See the new, the, the older leaves. Um, you normally get a little bit of the tip light. This is what tip light looks like on the plant. And this is easily solvable with, with a fungicide application. But if it's not much, you know, if it's within thresholds, we're not going to treat it. So, you know, with one like this showing up, I'm not going to spray this for fungus. Um, the newer leaves, you can see this is what a new perfectly healthy plant looks like when it is um, growing a new leaf. Uh, we just had it systemically treated because it does get aphids and there's no aphids in the new leaves. Uh, it looks, you know, pretty nice. You know, this is obviously here. This is caused by the blade uh, missing it and not shredding it off. You can see right here, it got shredded within when it was trimmed. 
This is just, so this is not disease. Trying to understand the difference between disease and something that is happening to the shrub um, is very tough sometimes. There you go. You got a little bit of tip light. I'm not actually major. Just listening so to this, the whole this video. shrub is really, really healthy. But the main problem is this, trying to ID this. This is what's weird because you can see the new growth. This is healthy new growth. And then down here, this is the chlorotic older growth that is already old and it turns yellow. And what it appears is like it has a nutritional deficiency or something like maybe a mineral deficiency or an iron deficiency. And it isn't so. It's actually the mite causing this problem. All right. So, so we've got that explanation. And then I'm going to bring in uh, my outro. And I'm just going to drop my outro in there that I recorded. Uh, take a look. Hey, folks, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it and then what I'll do is I'll go in, go to the dialogue, hit the default podcast voice, do the denoise, get rid of the rumble. Has do me a favor. Hey, give and it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel below. Leave me some notes there, some comments, and share it with your friends. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a pestacular day. All right, so now I, I'm going to bring this because I'm going to trim it off just a little bit when I, I don't need to look at the camera. Spectacular day. And there you go. Just going to trim this little piece off for you. And then I'm going to bring, take my logo reveal. I'm going to drop it in here. All right. And day. All right. And then what I do is I put a little effect because I use this. I go to what is transitions right here. And then I'll drop that transition right there. And what it's going to do is it's going to fade it. Watch. See how it fades it versus the cut that I made, that hard cut? Just softens it up at the end. See, look at the difference between this. All right, it just cuts right in, right? So I'm going to go drop it in there in between. It'll give me that, but that's fine. And there you Hey, go. folks. Frank. So basically, in a couple of minutes, in under eight minutes, I produced an entire video. Now all I got to do is export this video. We're going to export the media. I use H.264. I match because I'm using 1080p video, 1080p output, 30 frames per second. And we're going to go 30.02. Uh, we're going out at 30. So this matches it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I'll, I'll, what I do is I go by date. So I'll just put in my date, 2020, today's date. Uh, 0718 and then Poto Carpus with might damage could be confused and if it's misspelled I can always get it later for the yeah the efficiency and disease all right so we're going to go ahead and save it there and then you're going to export it and it's going to start the export process and that's it folks in in you know nine minutes you produce a professional video with audio editing effects intros outros bumpers completely done under 10 minutes